Hey everyone, got another unboxing for you. Today we have a VRX Racing. It is not the one on the box. Uh, the one that I picked up is called the Rattlesnake RH1040. I was debating about getting this coyote because it looks pretty cool, almost like a Bronco. Um, but I'll explain why uh, I did not. So let me open this up. <clears throat> uh, first off, I want to say um, I picked this up from Sterling Kits. Um, it was very well packed in a solid brown box. Unfortunately, I did see that it was crushed. Um, did open it up, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, some things you can avoid, and all it really comes down to is how the sellers uh, handle the case, which I am very pleased with how Sterling Kits took care of me in this one. Uh, so let me open this up and let you see what's inside Okay, so I just pulled off the lid and uh, This is how the body came in how the RC pretty much came in um, So I open it up and first thing you notice that There is some damage on the body All right, you guys see those cracks right here and then also the chunks missing out of the back so, <clears throat> you know, it was a bummer when I opened it up. Um, uh, everything else looked okay. We have the sticker sheet. Uh, these are body post mounts and body clips. Give you extra ones, which is an awesome thing. This is a ready to run. Uh, it comes with a, I think that's a 2S LiPo battery. Let's double check it. Um, but it does have a 3650. Uh, brushless motor and a 45 amp uh, ESC <clears throat> I thought that was a little bit lower and uh, to get into this uh, when I was shopping for this um, I was debating on getting the VRX rally car uh, since you guys know how much I love the rally cars um, yeah so this is a 2s uh, 25c lipo battery uh, not a problem, but what turned me off was it did have a lower amp rating ESC initially. Um, and I think the motor sizes are the same, 3650, 3300 kV or 3500 kV. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I actually thought the, ES the HSP uh, rally car um seemed more appealing i believe these are a little bit bigger than the hsp i don't have it with me at the moment <clears throat> but uh i'll tell you what makes this rattlesnake uh super special and what it is is check out this chassis so if i'm correct the only vrx 110 that i could find uh with the metal chassis was this rattlesnake um, <clears throat> the rally car short course truck and all the other variations um, do not come with that it is a plastic chassis and that's not a problem I just uh, think this looks cool it's very sturdy very rigid um, <clears throat> I also thought this body was really cool because um, it almost looks like Sorry, let me put this up on the actually let's finish the unboxing first. Sorry guys So it did come zip tied in very secure this carton had an outer brown box, which is awesome uh, A lot of the other sellers do not do that um, And I can tell you that my short horse truck I Have not gotten a solution from Banggood yet, so I'm still not recommending them to you guys uh, but sterling kits they have and here we go. That is the rattlesnake um, Brushless 1040 and uh, It comes with the receiver binder and a little uh, antenna cable This one does come with the fly sky GT2 um, I like fly skies. I do not like this one because it takes eight double a batteries um, and it's pretty much the same one that came with the HSP, as you'll see right here. Uh, HSP just, you know, changed the color and uh, 
restickered it, but same receiver. Um, <clears throat> what else we get in this box? Here's the charger. Uh, note that it's an EU plug. Um, and this is a common charger you get with these, but much better than just the standard USB charger. Um, and that comes with the smaller, cheaper RCs. Okay. What is great about these is that it comes with a 2S and a 3S charge port. So that's pretty much it for the box. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set this thing up on the carton so you guys can get a better look. Check that out, guys. Isn't that freaking awesome? I love the way this thing looks. And I can tell you I had a hard time deciding between this Coyote um, and this one. Uh, but ultimately what sold me was the chassis um, upgrades. Uh, this metal top bar. I think they all come with the metal top bar. I'm not sure at this moment. But yeah, this chassis is awesome. And <clears throat> so to follow up uh, with what happened was I wrote them the same day I got the, I wrote Sterling Kits the same day I got this, letting them know that it came in broken. They responded to me within a day and let me know that they would look into it. And then within the week, they let me know that they were going to ship me a replacement body, which has come in. Check that out. These guys are awesome. Like, I haven't gotten a response this quick, especially from a Chinese seller. Um, let me open, I haven't even opened this up, so let me open it up and show you guys how nice this is. So here's the fresh body, fresh sticker kit. These are pre-cut, I believe, so you don't have to trim them like the, like the body kits that are really annoying. <clears throat> but look at this thing. It is fresh. And I imagine this thing probably cost just as much to ship than the original RC did. Um, but I am so grateful. And that is the difference between great customer service and bad. Uh, no response from Banggood. And I bought that short course truck probably a month or two ahead of this one. Uh, Sterling Kits surprisingly has very fast shipping uh, coming from overseas. Uh, I will post a link uh, that uh, you can sign up for in their affiliates program. Um, and basically it's cool because you don't have to contact them for any partnership um, and YouTube reviews. You can just sign up for their affiliates and they give you a referral link. They even give you a discount code. But I recommend using, they typically have a 12% discount code on their site. Um, I have a 10% that I'll post down below in case the 12% is ever unavailable. Um, but great seller, super rare RC. I have not even seen anyone else selling this and especially for the price that they have it for. Um, again, that you could check out my video on the cheap RC sellers, but Sterling kits is great for, um, more rare or less commonly seen RCs. And um, if you find the right deal, use the discount code. They can be cheap, and especially with this one. Uh, this was um, pretty decently priced. Um, so uh, I am gonna get this stickered up and get it ready to run or get it going but super awesome guys and and i'm almost tempted and i might look for a uh, coyote body just to slap onto here um but to give you a shot those are super cool wheels and uh i wanted a different variation um than a rally car this time and i'm glad it turned out to be this one but super amazing. So, thanks for watching. Here's a side by side shot of it next to the HSP 94110 Rally. Um, both of these claim to be a 110 scale, um, but obviously the HSP is smaller. I'll show you the difference inside. 
So this is the pro version, brushless. Um, has the same size motor. And um, this is a 50 amp ESC versus a 45. I really don't know how much difference it'll make, but I imagine this guy will be faster or zippier because it's smaller with a similar, uh, if not more powerful power plant. Um, and then the rest of it would really come down to the stock gearing, which I don't know at the moment. Um, but here's the wheelbase, you can see. Um, there is a noticeable difference. And to give you a reference, here is it next to the Fiesta Rally ST. Now the body on this looks bigger. But if you guys notice that the wheelbase is actually the same. So body on the Fiesta is a little bit bigger, um, but I believe this is, check that out, it's actually wider than the Fiesta. So this VRX line is a little bit bigger than the Traxxas um, slash line, which uh, which the Fiesta is based on. Um, there you go. Here's all three of them. Thanks for watching. I'm excited to get this out.